Hey guys, I wanted to jump in here real quick with a special prayer video. And I would love that if, even if you're watching this later on after it's been a film, that you would join in the prayer because my goal is to try to bring all of us in together into prayer through the Holy Spirit on this issue. Um, I'd mentioned this a couple of days ago, like I think almost a week ago about praying for us, all of us that do what we do here that preach the word because we're under a lot of attack. It's, there's a lot going on. Um, I'm not going to name any names, but a brother in Christ who was doing what I'm doing has shut his channel down. Um, he's not going to be the only one. There's going to be more because we're getting hit so hard from so many different angles uh, from the enemy. Uh, the enemy in the comments, the enemy in the world, the enemy you know, in, our, in, our, in our own bodies. So um, I ask you guys to, to pray for us all the time because what we do, what I do, it sounds like this is easy to do. This isn't easy to do. I've gotten death threats before. I don't care. They, they gave up because it had no effect on me. But they'll go and they'll, they'll give death threats to somebody who's preaching the truth. That's wonderful Christian behavior. How Christian of you to go uh, send death threats to somebody who's preaching the truth. But that's that's how they are. They'll dedicate hours and hours of video footage just hating on somebody else. How Christian of you to do such a thing. You know, and, and they are being led by the devil. They don't realize it and they'll never admit it. But the scriptures prove it. Because when we go by what the scripture says, you don't do stuff like that. When we go by what the scripture says, you don't make up nasty stuff about people or take their videos and cut them up into little pieces to try to pull one phrase out so you can try to make them look bad. You don't go out of your way to make somebody look bad. It's a whole different thing to call somebody out on heresy and then share the scripture that proves the heresy wrong and then pray for them to repent, that the Lord will grant them repent. That's a whole different thing than what some of these people are doing. But they will go to the, to no, they, they'll spare no expense doing everything they can to try to make people feel bad about what they do. They finally, they've all but given up on me because it doesn't affect me. I don't care. I don't care what you think. I've been beat up since the beginning, from very day one, that my first memory when I woke up on my fifth birthday. That's my first memory. I don't know why, but that's my first memory. I watched the sun come up to my feet. It was in Beaumont, Texas, in my father's, uh, my grandfather's house, my father's dad. And, uh, no, I take that back. It was an uncle. And uh, day one, I went outside and immediately, while my mom's sitting there, the kids riding down on bikes mocking me. I mean, it, this has been since day one. I had no idea why. And, and throughout my whole entire adult life, same thing. You know, I actually believed in integrity and stood up for it. You know, got in the army. I, I was shunned because I believed in that. Who cares? I don't care what people think anymore. But here's the thing. Not everybody's in the same situation and not everybody's in the same mindset. And so we're getting all attacked different ways. Whatever little arrow that Satan can use to throw at you, he's going to do it. You take a, enough of them away and he has very little that he can use against you. This is where faith comes in. We must believe that the Lord is with us always and the Lord will never give up. And if he won't give up, we can't either. He won't let us. So I wanted to share a couple of scriptures and then jump into some prayer on this issue. Galatians 6, 9, and let us not grow weary of doing good, for in due season we will reap if we do not give up. We can't give up. We can't let go because the Lord is coming and he is bringing his reward with him. And so we stand our ground and do what we know we have to do. Now, I'm not going to knock anybody who shuts their channel down. I, I, they have to do what they have to do. And the Lord may be leading them that way, but it's a real travesty because we're losing truth and biblical teachers and somebody negative is going to take their place. Now, the Lord always has people in reserve to take places of any of us that go down. I firmly believe that he told Elijah, you know, Elijah was like, I'm the last prophet. Uh, Jezebel's killed all the other prophets. So you might as well take my life. He said, no, I got 7,000 people in reserve. Don't worry. I got you covered. I, I, I can replace you easily. So we can never think that that we're it, and, and I don't. But it is a travesty to lose people that are speaking actual biblical truth to a world that is doing 
everything they can to try to stop us because they can't stand here. The Jews in the beginning, oh, we don't want to hear this anymore. It's too terrible for us to hear. They told Jeremiah, uh, we don't want to hear from you or God anymore. They told Isaiah, tell us good things. Don't tell us these bad things. The world doesn't want to hear this stuff. But you know what? We're going to tell them anyway. Like I said, till man shuts me up or God takes me up, I'm going to keep doing this. But I'm not going out without a fight. And I will stand in the gap for any and all watchmen that have to stop doing what they're doing for whatever reason. I will stand in the gap for them because that's what we're called to do. Somebody's got to warn so whatever, for whatever reason, somebody has to, to stop what they're doing. And there's been a bunch since 2019, since I've been doing this. And there's going to be more because it's going to get worse. I have no ill will towards any of them. I love them all. And I pray at some point they will come back because we need that, that, that we need troops. We need boots on ground. But I'm going to stand in the gap. I'm going to hold down the fort until they come back or until we all leave. And I'll do exactly what the Lord is going to lead me to do. Because this is what we have to do. We can never, ever give up. Philippians 4.13, I can do all things through him who strengthens me. All we got to do is stand our ground. We know the truth. It's right there in the Bible. If you're reading the Bible, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Luke 1.37, for nothing will be impossible with God. He can do anything. Here's Isaiah 41.10, fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Second Chronicles 15, 7, but you take courage. Do not let your hands be weak for your work shall be rewarded. And then I'm going to st stop in the verses. I will link this in the description, but I'm going to stop with the verses here at Jeremiah 29, 11, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans for welfare and not for evil, to give you a future and a hope. Uh, take that back. I'm going to stop with Joshua 1, 9. Have I not commanded you be strong and courageous? Do not be frightened. Do not be dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Actually, I can, I can keep going. Romans 8, 28. And we know that for those who love God, all things work together for good, for those who are called according to his purpose. Amazing. So let us not give up. And let us always come into intercessory prayer for the watchmen, for the believers, for the brethren, for the ministers and the pastors that are out there fighting the fight, giving truth. I, I watched MacArthur the other day. He, um, even he, even their ministry is kind of pulling back from the, the electronic ministry a little bit. Um, but um, after he had that little incident that he had with his heart and then that uh, fall and break an arm, he actually had a big bruise on his head. Um, he's really gotten more fired up. And some of his messages have kind of changed a little bit. Uh, he's it, it, like a sense of urgency has, has hit them. See, the ministers know. They know. And the Lord is setting a fire to the hearts of all those that are his and all those that he's designated to go out there and preach his word and to stand in the gap and to be watchmen. Got to pray for the watchman. I know Amir Sarfati, he's a watchman. That's where I even learned the term from is from listening to him. And then I went and looked it up in the scriptures. Uh, he's battling severe health issues now. Uh, Barry Scarborough's battling severe health issues. I have severe health issues. A uh, uh, bunch of people have got these health issues. Sometimes it's even emotional issues. We're human beings. But guys, we need you to pray for us. Y'all are listening to our videos. Y'all are sharing our content. And you're coming together in fellowship in our comments. We need you to pray for us and lift us up in prayer. And even if you see this video the next day or two days or three days or 10 days or a year from now, add your prayer into this because the Bible says, while the prayer of the right, the, the, the prayer of the righteous has great power while it's working. Well, if you're constantly adding more prayer to it from another individual watching it, 10 years down the road, somebody watches this video and adds their prayer to it. That prayer is still working. That prayer is still working. So guys, join me in prayer for the watchman. Join me in, in, in intercessory prayer and declarations of faith for the watchmen, for the ministers, and for the brotherhood. Father, we come before you this evening to give you praise, honor, and glory, and to lift you up and sing praises under your holy name. Father, thank you in the name of Jesus Christ for this holy word. Thank you that we can come together in prayer, even electronically, and that it will still have effect 
as it's working. So many prayers have been answered lately. Uh, I was just talking to Sister Nine on the phone and a prayer we had together for her, her immediate family around her being answered real time right now. Um, so many others have come and said, hey, uh, this prayer that we did, and I had asked, that, hey, look, here's what happened. And I mean, just over and over and over again, these prayers being answered. Father, thank you for answering these prayers. Father, you know who your watchmen are. You know who your ministers are. You know who your shepherds are. And you know that we're under attack. In this prayer, Father, I'd like to stand and make intercession for all of those. Father, strengthen the brethren. Strengthen the watchmen. Strengthen the ministers. Strengthen the shepherds. Strengthen those who are speaking your word in truth. Who are sharing, encouraging, strengthening, building up the brethren. As we see the day approaching. Doing what your word has said to do, not in a perfect manner, most certainly not in a perfect manner, but in a manner of faith, believing that you will keep your promises, believing you will do exactly as you said you, do, you would do. We just read a few of them here. Because, Father, we're under attack and they're doing anything and everything they can to try to bring us down, to try to stop us from speaking your truth. Now, you said there's going to be a famine of the word coming when the tribulation starts to kick off. But while we're still here, Father, while the church is still here, while the restrainer is still holding everything back, Father, I pray that you make us speak boldly against all heresies and false doctrines, that we speak boldly, sharing your truth and love to everybody, giving it to them, even if it hurts their feelings, even if it bothers them, even if it makes them mad, giving them truth anyway. We love them more when we give them truth. Your word in Proverbs says, Better are the wounds of a friend than the kisses of an enemy. A friend will hurt your feelings if they love you by telling you the truth, even if you don't like it. That's what good friends do. Hey, I think you're making a mistake. You should you should do, not do that. But the world is different now. The world is speeding towards the tribulation. We know we're at the end. We see the signs. We see the prophecies. I mean, it, it couldn't be any clearer. But Father... In the, in the spirit of, of uh, grace, in the spirit of mercy, and in the spirit, and what's the word I'm looking for? I'm having a brain lock right now. Spirit of intercession. We pray for the watchmen. We pray for the ministers. We pray for the shepherds. We pray for the brotherhood because we're all under some form of attack. One way or another, there's an attack coming. Look, Father, we ask you put your hedge of protection around us as we move through this time frame to the end. Make us to not give up, to never give up. Make us to never stop. Make us to never take our hand off the plow, but instead keep pushing forward. We're going to have problems. There's going to be issues. It is what it is. But no matter what, we know that you will take care of us. You will deliver us. You will protect us and you will save us because you promised all those things and so much more. Father, thank you for your promises that we can bank on. Thank you for hope and peace. Thank you for faith. And thank you for your mercy and your grace. Thank you for your great love and your free gift of salvation. Father, lift up the brethren. If you've led certain watchmen away to, to stop doing this and to go and do something else or to take care of everything, so be it. But Lord, I ask that if it's possible to bring them back because we need good, truthful, biblical teachers. We need people to stand in the gap that aren't afraid to stand in the gap. Because I know, like you said to Elijah, I have 7,000 more waiting, waiting in the wings. I've got people always in the wings. You always have more people in the wings. When you're going to activate all of them, how, I don't know. But one thing I do know is that if it's any way possible, I'm not going to stop doing this, Lord. No matter what we think no matter what we do, no matter what we say, no matter what we want or don't want. Lord, I pray your will be done in all these things. I pray your will be done no matter what, because I know your will is truth. Your will is justice. Your will is to bring us up out of all this, to deliver us not out of it, but through it and to save us. That's what you said you would do. And Lord, you said, if we believe we have eternal life, Father, we believe. 
help our unbelief. Please bless the watchmen, bless the brotherhood, bless the pastors, bless the shepherds, bless the teachers, bless the elders, bless all who are called by your name, including Israel. Bless all of them, Lord. Make us to be bright beacons of light, lighthouses on the shore. Make us to be the salt of the earth that people will know that's someone I can go to to get truth and that we can glorify you in that and everything we do for your glory in your name. Amen. Guys, thank you for joining me for this special prayer video. I, I don't like it when we when somebody shuts their channel down and stops doing videos, but I understand things happen and sometimes it gets overwhelming and you have to stop what you're doing. I understand sometimes the enemy gets a foothold and he gets in there and, he, and there's enough issues that it can cause you to, to turn away from that. Ask Brother Chad. He found out about that. I'm glad he, he came back, though. But you know what? No matter what happens, no matter where we end up, the Lord is always with us, regardless of what we have to do. And I, I hope this video isn't going to cause anybody to feel guilty. You do what you have to do. But my prayer will always be for all the, the watchmen, all the brethren. Because we need good truth tellers. We need good biblical teachers with integrity to stand up for the word of God, not for our own agendas. So with everything I have, I'm going to keep doing this until the Lord leads me away or man shuts me up or the Lord takes me up. Whichever happens, I'm going to keep doing this because I can't see anything else. I can't see myself doing anything else but this. I have to do this especially after seeing what's going on out there in the world and how bad, how terrible the false doctrine is. The, the, there are so many terrible teachers out there, it's shocking. And I hope that that channel that had to close down, I hope that their subscribers find the good channels so they can keep getting their biblical strength, keep getting their, their meat, their, their, their spiritual milk every day we got to keep fighting and we got to stay in there. We got to stay in the fight. We got to keep fighting for what we know is right because the Lord's coming. He's coming. He's coming for us. I don't care what them other people say. Read the Bible. It tells you exactly what's going to happen. I found all the scriptures that blow their arguments out of the water. I stand on those scriptures because the Lord gave them to us to stand on. So I'm going to go by what Jesus says, not by what they say. The Lord's coming. He's coming quickly. Look up for your deliverance draweth nigh unto you. I love you guys very much. I thank you all in advance for your prayers. I bless you all in Jesus' name. I pray he blesses you all richly in all things good and godly. And I'll see you in the next video.